Ever wondered how we can visualize the process of aging? I've taken this curiosity to the next level using Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. In this video, I'll show you how I harness the power of AI to generate a series of images seamlessly capturing the essence of aging. Get ready to see the transformation of age as you've never seen it before, or maybe you did. All through the innovative lens of automated image generation. As I said, I am using Automatic 11.11 installed on Windows, and for the checkpoint, I use the Realism Engine SDXL. I've prepared a prompt in a way that lets me generate similar images. I gave the character a random name so it can remain consistent. I also specify an eye color, uh, but that doesn't always work well with all colors. I use a solid background to minimize flickering and add emphasis to the words front view for consistency. For negatives, I have a long string of words that I sometimes use to get better photos. Um, the sampling method is DPM++ SDE Keras with 40 sampling steps, and you can choose the image size. I used a portrait video ratio in this case. The CFG scale is set to 7. For the seed, I keep the same seed for all generations. Now comes the automation part. Go to scripts and choose the XYZ plot. For the X type, choose prompt SR, where S stands for search, and R for replace. For X values, the first value you add is the text you want to replace. In my case, I want to replace the value 1, as seen in one-year-old in the prompt. Then, after the comma, you add all the values you want to replace it with, and I added numbers from 1 to 90. I asked ChatGPT for these numbers, so I didn't have to write them myself. Hit generate and then take a break as it will take some time to generate 90 images. On an RTX 4090, it took 15 minutes. These are the results. If some images look bad or the transition from one pose to another is too fast, you can delete them and keep what makes the time lapse look good. In CapCut for desktop, if you go to the menu and settings, you can change the image duration from the edit tab by selecting a short value like 0.4. Click Save, then drag all your images onto the timeline. Go between the first and second image and add a transition. I used the Mix Transition, which you can add between these images using the plus sign. Now select that transition and press the Apply to All button on the right. That's all. You can then hit the blue Export button to create your video. Let me show you another quick trick. Using a similar prompt for a 30-year-old woman with a white blouse and a different background, I wanted to see how I could age her, so I have a similar image for a before and after comparison, like you see in my thumbnail. Since I use a fixed seed, I get the same image each time. Now that we have the first image with the young woman, we send it to image to image using this button. Once it's there, we change the age from 30 to 70 and scroll down to use a random seed so we can try different generations until we get one that looks similar to our woman, just older. For Denoy's strength, use 0 0.5. Uh, as you can see, the result is very similar. You can probably play around with control net and other features but I just thought to share this simple solution with just image to image. You can check my YouTube channel for more stable diffusion videos. Subscribe if you want to see more similar videos. Thank you.